a few weeks ago when Ensof Haydar, the wonderful wife of Raif Badawi, the Saudi free thinker who's been in prison in Saudi Arabia, uh, was here in London to mark the fifth anniversary of Raif Badawi's imprisonment, we had a chance to speak to her. And what an amazing, wonderful woman she is in her own right. Absolutely. The case <clears throat> of uh, Raif Badawi actually epitomizes the reality of a struggle in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia is not just the reactionary sheikhs and Islamist um, government in power. The other side of the Saudi Arabian society is people who are fighting for freedom of expression, for right to think and change society. And there's hundreds and hundreds of people doing that. And Rauf Badawi represents all of them. Mm. And, and just not only people in Saudi Arabia, but across the world. Sure. And in Saudi Arabia, of course, we're hearing more and more cases of the like. And it's, I think, partly due to the fact that we've been able to hear so much about Raif's case from his wife. But it includes people like Walid Abu Khair, who is uh, Raif's lawyer, who's also been given a long prison sentence. Mm. Uh, people like a recent... Uh, um, young in his 20s, an atheist who's been given the death penalty for blasphemy. His name is Ahmad Al Shamri. And of course, there's other cases of women as well mm. who are trying to escape, like Dina Ali, who were then abducted and returned back to Saudi Arabia. So you're hearing of this resistance yes. through these various ways. And um, when uh, um, Ensof spoke <laughs> in London, um, she said that the peaceful expression of thought. It's a non-negotiable human right. Yeah. The right to be able actually to express your view and want to change the society. And he says there is a revolution going on in Saudi Arabia and many Islamic rhythm societies and new generation which is globalist, which is wants change, is modern, mm -hmm. is spreading everywhere. And that's the force that we need to support. Yeah. And this is important. She has a very important message. Uh, and we need to support her and well done to her for the, yeah, the work that she's done. She's amazing. And just to say that, I mean, Raif Badawi has been in prison for five years out of a 10 year prison sentence. He's been given 50 lashes out of a thousand lashes. The lashes have stopped, though they haven't been cancelled, and yeah. it's because of public pressure. So we need to keep the pressure on. Yeah. We want to see him released. And don't forget, it's supposed, his, his sentence is not only the 10 years in prison, which is enough, but it also includes a 10-year ban on travel yeah. and includes a 10-year ban on doing any sort of media work or writing. And his family, his three kids, his wife, yeah. they are in Canada. So what we're calling on uh, both the Canadian government but all governments is to give Raif Badawi citizenship, to release, help have him released immediately and that he needs to be reunited with his family. But again, all those in prison for their expression of their views, for, uh, you know, freedom of conscience, freedom of expression must be released immediately. Yes, let's uh, uh, listen to what Ensof uh, uh, said to <coughs> Brethren Roses TV when she came to London. Okay. Uh, it's wonderful to uh, be able to finally meet you. Uh, can I please, thank you, can I uh, just tell you why are you here today? What are you uh, commemorating? I am here today in London. The first reason is to is thanks to uh, the organization Reporters Without Borders and, uh, and Pan English, of course. They organized a trip for me. I am very happy to be here with you today. I really felt that there's solidarity and support from uh, the London people in London. The, the support comes from a lot of directions, not only specific individuals. So I'm really happy to see that. It's going to be five years Raif is in prison. Um, what, what are you hoping for? Why are you continuing your campaign now? I, I never lose hope on his case. I always keep on hoping and working on it. Freedom will be soon for Raif. He will be really soon. I have hope even in the Saudi system. I'm not negative about it. 
عندي امل كمان عشان الشعب العالم كله متضامن معنا I have hope كثير. also because I see the solidarity at the international level as, as I feel I'm not alone العالم له مردود نفسي علينا وعلى The solidarity of the people كثير. the international community is very necessary for us and it helps us a lot How are you holding up and also your kids and drive كيف themselves? كيف عم تعيشي بهالظروف وولادك انه كيف حالكم اليوم؟ اكيد اولادي يعيشوا في حاله انتظار يعني اولادي حرموا من اولادهم من هم لساعهم اطفال waiting state waiting for their father so it's a bit difficult اكيد الوضع صعب ما راح اقول سهل بس هي very difficult for us ولكن نحاول اننا نعيش بشكل طبيعي as much as we can to live in a normal way and uh, while waiting What uh, do you want people to continue doing? شو بدك الناس يكملوا يعملوا؟ أنا بصراحة يعني أي صوت بيندد بحرية رأي أكيد يعني لي كثير. I am very happy and every uh, sound, every voice of anyone supporting Raif is really matters for me, matters for us. أتمنى منهم إنهم يستمروا. I hope that they continue in their this fight and this support. ما راح أقول سياسة معينة ولكن أصواتهم حري الحرية اللي رأيف تكفيني إنهم يقولوها. The, the, the fact that they express أحد. support for Raif for his release is matters a lot to me. يدو اي اي مساعده انه يقدم any kind of support and this kind of support is already uh, sufficient for me well just to say that uh, raif is a hero for all of us but so are you raif la lna وبس كمان لك اكيد اكيد of course and we'll keep fighting until he's free ولحنا نستمر بالجهودنا الف شكر لكم وانا عندي ثقه فيكم thank you very much i trust you i thank you because you are with me and this is what gives me hope Dix ans de prison, mille coups de fouet pour des phrases pacifiques. C'est injuste que notre père soit en prison. Il n'a tué personne. Là, ça suffit. Il a juste créé un blog. Ce n'est pas illégal. On a trop attendu. On a besoin de voir notre papa. La chose qui me manque le plus chez lui, c'est son sourire très contagieux.